Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lounging with Lisa. Oh my God, my hair. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Clearly, I just got out of bed, but I really wanted to share this with you. Not just, but pretty recently. Oh, well, I can't. You know, I sleep without my hair pulled up, and then I wake up and I look like a... Not something very pleasant to really tune into. Okay. Um... I heard a little bit of commotion, so I came out. <laughs> and Perpetual has on a pair of gloves, ladies and gentlemen, because guess what? Todd brought, guess who's coming to dinner? Todd brought in the most adorable bird. I don't know my birds. I think he said it's a, um, oh dear, what did he say, a wren? I don't know. I don't even know if it's a wren. I, that just floated to the forefront. Um, It was a pretty bird with some red and black, okay? It was in between the oven and the counter, and we used, now we have a method. We have a total method that I we used the other night for the chipmunk, which is a, um, well, it's a cat food bag emptied. So Perpetual got down there and held the bag, and then I gently took a broom, and that bird ran right into the bag. Perpetual brought him outside, put him on a limb, and he flew off, so that's good. Meanwhile, we think there's something else roaming in the home as we speak. This is just, I mean, I barely even have my coffee. I only had half a cup of coffee at this point, but I decided to come at you live and give you the update on the, um, you know, the morning update. And there you have it. Also, remember yesterday when I did my video at last night, I said that I was looking into this other bizarre conspiracy about, um, it's called, it's called, oh God, what's it called? The actor actor-based reality or something and the premise is everybody is an actor okay that for example they had um walt disney okay the same gentleman according to this who played walt disney who played the character of walt disney are you following it's hard to follow um also played the character of adolf hitler ladies and gentlemen as well as i don't know some rockefeller or somebody also, Jim Mars, you know, because this would have Kennedy never dying. It was all stage actor stuff, okay? Because the same actor who played Kennedy, years later, played Jimmy Carter. It's all in the wife. Take a look at their wives. I'm not seeing any of the similarities at all. No offense to anybody, but it's the same thing when they do a police sketch. Oh, be on the lookout for the suspect. He's, here's a police sketch. They never look a thing like the sketch, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the clincher. You know, you know how I talk about, uh, you know how I speak of Jim Mars, M-A-R-S, the investigative reporter who wrote the book, Crossfire, The Plot to Kill Kennedy, on which Oliver Stone based his movie. They claim he's really a Rockefeller, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, this could all be true, after all. And, um, you know, he is someone to kind of keep us on the wrong track as to what's going on. They base a lot of this on a picture of him and Jack Ruby. Oh, by the way, Jack Ruby's also a Rockefeller. Thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> That's what they say. Um, there's a picture of Jim Mars as a younger man, you know, like 1920, on the dance floor at at the club of, um, what's his name there, who I just mentioned, the guy who killed Ruby, or who killed Jack Ruby, Yeah. And Jim Mars, even in his presentations, has said that, you know, he's gone in that club before. He grew up in that area. But no, he's a Rockefeller, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, oh, also, um, let's, what other actors did, were unearthed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Eddie Vedder, who I think is precious, by the way. Uh, he and Sean Penn are the same person. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling it like it is. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to offend... Anybody who might have done more research on this than I. So far, I think it's really improbable, okay? I mean, even with Hollywood makeup and all this, I just, I don't see it. I don't, mm -mm, I'm not. I do understand they use crisis actors sometimes, like if they want to stage an event, like a terrorist strike or something. They, they'll use the same actors and stuff like that. But I'm just having a hard time thinking that everything in the world is... Like, actors playing a part and stuff. It just seems a bit of a stretch to me, but hey, who the hell knows? Okay, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the morning. Have a good one. <laughs>
Oh. <clears throat>